How do uh, contractors, for example, that you know want to work with you, get in touch with you, and get insurance help? Um, I'm been a managing partner now with Insurance Office of America just for a few a few short months. Uh, but I've been with Insurance Office of America for almost five years now. Uh, the couple months will be my fifth year anniversary. Uh, the the easiest way to get a hold of me is probably via email. Uh, my email address is philip with two l's dot lane l a n e at iowausa dot com. Um, I'm also pretty available to my clients uh, via my cell phone and. Uh, may not be smart for me to get my cell phone number out, but I'm always interested in talking to people and even providing help if they're into something and, and they need some expertise. Uh, my cell phone number is 321-698-5094. So those two ways are, the, are primarily my forms of communication. Um, I love to see clients in person. It seems like since the pandemic, we've all gravitated more towards Zoom meetings and Microsoft Teams meetings. And I'm comfortable with those as well. But I do still prefer to sit down with people face to face, especially when we begin a business relationship and just to make sure that that we're a fit and that we have the same style and that we're on the same page and we want the same things. Because not every broker can be everything to everyone, you know, and insurance is is very interesting. May not be the best word, but you know, we have to obtain a lot of information. And entrepreneurs are a lot of times very guarded with what they want the world to know, but there has to be a trust level between myself and my clients in order for us to work well together. We're also a little different where I, I typically won't just provide a quote for someone. You know, if somebody calls me and they say, hey, I need you to bid this, you know, which makes sense, especially in the construction space. I mean, it, people, it can be very transactional. You know, you, you've got to get the best price for your client, for your customer, and there can be a real grind there. And but the construction industry is much different. You know, you can go to several tradesmen if it's the, you know, the roofer or the concrete company or the HVAC plumber as a, um, as a general contractor, you typically have a roster of subs that you can go to, um, and you can, can negotiate and get multiple bids and, and work that sell for you financially. And the insurance industry, there's a, a, a general rule that the first agent to approach an insurance carrier is the only agent that that company will work with. It just prevents a lot of back and forth and a lot of misinformation, but that's the way it works in our industry. So our approach is really to work with all of the options that are available on behalf of the client, instead of getting into a situation where we're working against other agents in a competitive scenario to try to drive things down. Because the reality is when an underwriter gets a submission, for a specific company, a specific risk, the more people that have sent that account to them, the messier the account gets and the less that underwriter really wants to work. So we try to educate our clients about, you know, this process of managing and creating your insurance program and your risk man management program is not something that's best accomplished by going out to market and bidding. Uh, there, there is room for, for competition and for bidding, but it needs to be gone about in a smart way in a thought out way that gets the client what they want, which is the most cost-effective program to protect their balance sheet, their futures, and their employees' future.